The word of the Lord, Joshua chapter 24, and verse 14. And Joshua, just before he died, he spoke these eloquent words recorded in the scriptures. Now therefore, fear the Lord. It means Joshua is trying to give the conclusion of, of his speech, of his life, of his walk with God. They say, fear, respect, and reverence. Fear the Lord. Serve Him. In other words, if you, when you respect the Lord, you will worship Him in sincerity and in truth. The Bible continues to say, and put away the gods, smaller letter G, gods, which your fathers served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. In other words, Joshua was telling God's people, do not follow your fathers who have backslidden. Do not follow your fathers who have not been faithful, who have not been sincere, who have been worshipping the false gods. Do not imitate. Do not follow them. Serve the Lord. Verse 15. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord. Now if you, if you think otherwise, Joshua is saying, listen to this. Choose for yourselves this day. It's a challenge that Joshua is giving to God's people. So if you think that the God who created you, the God of our fathers Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, is not a true God, then I would like to offer a challenge. Choose you this day. I love that. I love that statement. Choose for yourselves this day, now. Do not wait for tomorrow, now. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, worship. What are the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell? But as for me, just for saying, but as for me and my house. This is a lesson for us that uh, yes, salvation is individual choices, but salvation can also be shared with your family. But as for me and my family, Joshua is saying, in effect, we will serve the Lord. Joshua was arousing their free will and their desire that God will not force himself on his own people. Choose you this day, beloved, whom to serve. If you think the God of, of your fathers is to be served, then go ahead. But if you think that the God whom we serve is worthy of your respect and worship, serve him indeed. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Or worship. But as for me, Joshua saying, and my family, we will serve the Lord. A very uplifting, inspiring, encouraging words for us today. That indeed, at this very time, just before the Lord Jesus Christ, a crucial, critical juncture of our Christian walk, let us be audible in saying to all those who are observing us, we are, we are worshiping the true God, with sincerity, with solemnity, and with special urgency. Friends, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. May God bless you. This is my prayer.